I really did have a dragon at last. I couldn't wait to get to school the next day. Whenever the carnival moves on, I go to a new school. Meeting friends isn't easy. I couldn't wait to see everyone's faces when I told them about Spike. I told my class that I had a pet dragon, and that his name was Spike, and I waited for them to be amazed. But they didn't believe me. Oh, be realistic," said Emily. "Dragons don't exist." But I really do have a dragon," I said. Spike got bigger and bigger. He clung to my shoulder, blowing cute little puffs to a smoke. I begged Pa to let me take him to school. Dragons don't belong in class, Princess," he said. Candace, what made these holes in your cardigan? My teacher, Mister Martin, asked. Spike's class, I said. And who is Spike? Asked me, Mister Martin, curiously. He is my dragon. His claws are sharp. I said. Oh, said Mister Martin, a dragon. What a magical and unrealistic pet. Clearly, he didn't believe me either. But at home, I asked Ma if I could take Spike out to school. Of course not," said Ma. "He is a decent size now. Imagine the havoc he caused in the classroom." Please, I made the cute face again. Listen to your ma, princess. It's not a good idea," said Pa. "Maybe Spike can help you with your homework," said Pa nicely. Spike tried to help with my English homework. I wrote a story about a princess in a castle and a dragon. Spike. They flew through the clouds to gather, swooping through the air. Spike blew little circles of smoke. I gave him a tutti. Cat said, "Cody, can you say Spike?" I said. Cat said, "Cody, reaching for Spike's tail." Candace, what happened to your homework? Called Mister Martin the next in class the next day. You caught on. F- you caught fire, Mister Martin. I said. Was it Spike again? Asked me, Mister Martin. How cross, Mister Martin? I said. Cody put his tail and then he coughed. And start your homework, said Mister Martin. Oh, Candace, I was angry all through our music class. Why wouldn't anyone believe me? Ma said it must have been because some people don't believe it. That dragons are real. Most people think magic is only real in in books," said Ma. "Poor them," said Pa. "Imagine being so completely boring." At home, Spike became my best friend. The best thing about Spike was that I wouldn't have to leave him behind when the Lilac Brothers moved. The carnival to the next place. He could come with us and live in the caravan. One day, Spike and I could have an act in the carnival. I could just picture it: Princess Candace and her dragon Spike. Come and see how they fly and swoop, a plot as they dive through the air.